the Holy Spirit knew I need I needed a comfort. So he mm. sent me the comforter mm. to comfort me. When I now saw the picture, I was like, mm. no. <laughs> I was like, I was I was about arguing with God when I had the voice. Ah, uh, it was a fear that everyone wanted to put in me. You know, it's even the fear of losing my husband again. Mm. Hi everybody, welcome again to my channel. The Lord has so many things in store for you. So today's video, we're going to be talking about an interesting topic. So what now happened? Let's get right into it. <clears throat> Please show Ruth what you have for her in the future. And she even had the intention of being for future response. She was just being for future. Then, then bam! I just saw a big white screen, big white screen on the wall. Then I saw a man on a guinea, on a light green um, out, uh, outfit. And I said, I was like, oh. then on my, on my, uh, this ear, that's the right ear. I just had a voice, as a deep voice, saying, Who fought and marry Dayo? He mentioned his name. Oh, wow. He mentioned his name. I was like, And I only met him once in India before he left for the US. I was like, Immediately I had that. I knew that. Yes, this is it. Oh, I just oh. stood up. I didn't see anything with them that day. I just stood up. And I was, in fact, I was like, it was like I was flying in the air. My body was so, I was so joyful. It was like the, a river ugh, was just flowing into me. I was, my, it was, ugh, I could, I can't explain. I can't explain. And I was just thinking, even in, from the, from the, uh, the transportation from the church to the, to our house, to the house, I was just thinking. I was just smiling. People were like wondering what is happening to Ruth. I was, my roommate knew I was not okay. So it was only one that even we were, we were like it was a two petrol flat, we we're like five in a flat. Nobody knows about it. Nobody. <laughs> no, nobody knows about it. So I was, I was like shared my testimony in They were like, What? Something like oh, this happened to you and you could not talk. I was like, No, I can't. I can't. Even my friends back in Nigeria were like, Ruth, you're not good, you're so bad. And I could not share I could I my I shut down Social media. I was on Facebook for, for quite a while. I was out of social media. I was just on WhatsApp. And whoever said, even if the message is not relevant, I won't answer you. <laughs> <What's the yes? laughs> I won't answer anybody. So yeah, it was it was a really good it was a good deliverance. It was a sweet deliverance, and I was I was fulfilled that very day. Oh. And I just want to say that I know when when you and I were discussing, you had mentioned that. God had used that experience, although really painful, to build your prayer life and also make you realize some gifts that you had. The gift of prophecy, right? Yeah. And seeing things yeah. come. So yeah. you were prophesying in church, people were being delivered, but you were still yeah. changed. You were still changed, yes. changed right? And God yes, yes. had to send yes. a deliverer or use someone as a deliverer to really bring you out. You know, yes. a lot of people will probably stop there at that point that, oh, yes, my prayer life is on point. I can, I can. Oh. Pray. But God wanted to take it to another level, another level of where you're light in the spirit. You're like, you're, you have peace, you're transformed and every pain, like deep-seated pain, God will just take all of that and just do that surgical work in you. So that's just yeah. so that point there where it's like, you know what, I have brought you through this process, you prayed your prayer life, you can prophesy, you know, spiritual gifts and you're prophesying, your pastor is able to help to interpret all those things, yes. but I need you, I need to take care of that pain. I need to take it out of you. And yes. the Lord did that. And, and he didn't just do that. He now said, okay, you know what? In this, because in that pain, in that place of your pain, you're not receptive to hear from God yeah. about, a, about yes. the husband. 
about the new that is it right that is it that is it if you don't let go you you can't let go you can't even hear any single thing from god if you don't let go if you're still holding on to something you can't hear from it. just like a child you want to you give the child a, a, a small kit and you had, you had a bigger kit and you're like okay give me that for me to give you the bigger one but they, the child is saying no 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 the child can't see what is at behind the the adults the adult the adult accent Ah, or he even he had to give the gift. But you know, but once you are able to give that, you will get a better one, right? But if you don't let go, you won't you won't get a better one. So you won't get a better one. <laughs> that was yeah. that great lesson I learned. Yeah. yeah. So by the time yeah. the deliverance came, almost immediately the Lord opened your eyes to show yeah. you who's to be your husband, right? And yes. he will give you the name yes. of the brother. And of yes. course, joy filled your soul, joy filled your heart. Because by now you had let go, you had let go, you had let God, um, like you said. So tell me about that. Because mentioning the name of the brother, 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 had, had you met him before? Was he someone you had seen before? Or um, was that a new picture? Like you just said, like, you're like, who is brother or something? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, my first time going to the church, myself and my friend, he was the assistant pastor to the. Uh, he was assistant pastor in the church, and he walked up to us as a newcomer to ask about us and to know more about us. And I was in early left. He was telling me he was from Mugo State. I didn't know I was from Mugo State. Is it? He was. It was from a particular um, local government, and we I was also from um also from that same particular local government, and I was like, wow, that's good. I never had anything for him, you know. <laughs> I was even telling my friend that oh, that's a good person. You don't don't miss it. I was telling her that your friend to get connected. You know, I told her I only know two people in church that she can get connected with. And I think I had the gift then, but you know, it's not that I, I just had the gift of um, will I say, I had the gift of um, I really I do observe things, observe things and get to know things easily faster. So I was like, oh, within the day, that just that day we got to church, I knew that it was only to burn that was serious day, you know. And I was like, it's either you go for this or that, but that one is out of the picture because is engaged to someone. So I said, so go for the other person. She was she just laughed it off. And that day was the day I met him. Then the next day I met him was the day we wanted to go to church. He cooked for us. Mm. <laughs> Out of all the Nigerians in that in that flat, he was only the one that cooked for us. And his food was delicious. I was like, who oh, this? He said, it's a brother. Let me tell you the funniest thing. We served in the same state. We went for the same, we went to the same state for our, um, what they call it now? NYC, no, um, camping. We went to the same state, the same batch, the same stream, but I didn't meet him. It was after marriage, we got to know that, wow, we're in the same Karayo, Karayo camp in Kano. We were wow. in the same batch, the same stream. But I didn't, I didn't meet him again. So I might have seen him, but, I don't uh, even remember, remember his face. So I, that day I was like, wow, Victoria, mm -mm, this food is delicious. Remember <laughs> what I told you? <laughs> you know, I was just pulling my legs. And when I now saw the picture, I was like, mm. no. <laughs> I was like, I was I was about that game with God when I had the voice. Mm. You know, <laughs> I was about, I said, no, no, no. I was about arguing. Then I just had it right then. I just had to keep quiet. Mm. Just keep quiet. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, and, and this is especially for people that are going through grief, grief, right? Um, whether grief, grief, definitely grief of, of a loved one. Was there ever a time, you know, after God had revealed Prodio to you, where you felt like, am I moving on? Am I forgetting this person? Am I betraying him i had committed to did you ever feel yes yes 
ah, it was the fear that everyone wanted to put in me. You know, it's even the fear of losing my husband again. Mm. You know, we are far apart from each other, right? So I was like, don't try it. Do you remember what happens to you? Will you be able to see this person again? I had to, I had to share with my mom. She would pray for me. She said, whatever would be, be good. And she was, she was like, any blessing God gives unto man, he, he doesn't take back. Mm -hmm. He was just trying to encourage me in our own way. And it was like, that's a fear from the devil that I should fight the fear of. So I had to go to God in prayer. I told God that, Father, I don't want this. Mm -hmm. If you're sure it's the one for me, please take away the fear. And it went. I didn't remember it again. He just didn't want me to get married to him. He just didn't want me. He knew that our coming together would be a bump. <laughs> so he didn't want me to get it married. Cause a lot of trouble for them in the kingdom of darkness. So of yes. course he opposed it, right? And I know when we were discussing, you had you mentioned there was a statement the Lord ministered, you know, dropped in your spirit. Say, how long do you want to stay married to the dead? That was before the deliverance. Yes. Mila, I said, God forbid. Hmm. But I knew that deep down that I didn't want to still let go, but I was already letting go easily. Mm -hmm. It just made a statement for me to come to the state of realization that you need a deliverance. That was, it was from then I knew that root, you need a deliverance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so God had revealed to you, Brother, as your husband, in a very clear way. Um, How did that coming together happened like because it sounds to me like he received you received first you heard from god first yes. before him yes. so how did it you know all play out it was a battle on its own so it was another battle to fight <laughs> i actually shared with my pastor and my mom the very next day because i was led to do that i after i told my mom she said wow that is god she was so happy then I shared with my pastor's wife, come and tell she screamed. <laughs> she was like, yes! Oh, yeah, I need Everybody is uh, like excited. <laughs> yeah, so I I told her she should calm down. Calm down, sister, calm down. I still want to make some confirmations. I don't know this person. She said, no, leave that. I know you need to make confirmation, but I'm so, so happy. We ended the call. And there was a great day I was just uh, meditating and I was telling God that Father, I want to marry this person, but I don't know this person. I know nothing about him. I only know he's from my local government. <laughs> I know he's from my state. <laughs> I know nothing about him. I don't even know his siblings. I don't know anything. So it was like, we're interacting, you know, and I was um, I was meditating then. Suddenly my roommate just came over and bounced on the bed and said, wait, you don't know what. They were, they were talking about D1 in the other room. This is it, this is it, this is it. This is what they said, this is what they said, this is what they said. It's very nice, it's this, it's that. But I, it was like a drama to me. That's <laughs> good. I was watching it. It's to you. <laughs> I mean, it just delivered it. It delivered it to me raw, you know? I was like, I was not looking at God. I was like, looking at God in my mind, I was like, well done. I see your hand. <laughs> I was just smiling at you. I was like, really? Oh, oh wow. Really? So like, you know, I never, I'm not this kind of person. I'm interested in she's starting and she likes. I was like, she was like, um, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It was, she talked about for about 20 minutes. I was like, wow. Oh. Then she left. She went That's back all. to the <laughs> That's all. I was like, wow. Mm. But is this how you work? Is mm. this how you answer something? You mm. know? <laughs> I was like, wow, this is this is great. And and I was like, okay, fine. And now I'm stubborn, I'm kind of stubborn because of my past situation. So I had to actually confirm that I have one more confirmation from you from your word. Mm. Then there was a day I just wanted to sleep. That it was just one week, this didn't happen within one week ago. Mm. But then I wanted to sleep and I I was it, I just had a voice pick up your Bible. I said my Bible, okay. I picked it up. I didn't know where to open. It said keep opening, keep opening. 
keep up me, keep on stop. Then I just used my hand. I used my hand. I was just trying to just read some verses, but I knew that I was just I was just reading so fast. Then I just got to a place, stop. Then I read, I was like, wow, this is it. Mm. <laughs> the scripture was about he knowing my my future. He has the plans of um he has a plan for me and he's going to send a man from the west, east or west, to to accomplish what he has for me. I was like, oh wow. so I had to share with my mom. I had to share with my mom and you know, she was like, Wow, that is it. Mm. And I was like, Yes, this is a confirmation. So I told my my pastor to go ahead to tell him so he he didn't tell him directly. He just told him, "Do you know this person? Have you prayed about?" He said, "Well, after we got married, he was saying that which person he can that he that he has." So he didn't. They didn't tell me that there are five people ahead. Oh, five stand ready ahead. He didn't tell me that, you know. And I was like, when he told me, I was like, "Really?" So I was, I was the number one. So he told me, I was like, "Wow." So it was a great battle. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, in fact, I think two of them, is that one person or two of them already had a stay? And he, he doesn't have a stay. So it's, a, it's quite a great temptation to, you know, the, sometimes the person you feel you want to get married to might be right for you in everything. The person is okay, but it's not, it's not God's will for you. You know, so definitely if you don't even know, you might even want to go with the marriage, right? Yeah. So definitely those people can they might be the right person for him. I might not be God's will for him. So I I was like, wow. They said, yeah, they had to stay. No, the spirit not anything to marry the person they stay. That was That's another part. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> that was another part. You know, I but I never knew. Then one day I just got tired of it all. I was like I would even exist that I've never I'd never ever said it. I'll be the first person to say the will of God to someone. <laughs> they put that for that matter. Like so they are rushing like, you, they were rushing you. Yeah. <laughs> and I was not even waiting for someone. I, I was I was I was I was embittered. I was like, what is all this? Then my sister, my I call her sister, she called my pastor pastor's wife. She called me that day on the Thursday. She said, I just ranted to her. She said, how spank you. Mm. What are the wait what are waiting on God? What are what where did you put waiting on God? Um, um where did you put it? I was like, waiting on God. Uh, so I have to pass for this again. <laughs> so I I just okay, I agreed with her and I fasted that very day. I prayed and I had it is done. Yeah, this is when I just stopped my prayer. I stopped immediately. <laughs> that was the reason I was praying, so I had no reason to pray again. Mm-hmm. So I stopped. Then the next night, I had a dream. In my dream, I was running. I held something dear to my heart. I don't know what I was holding. I was running then some battalions. So I don't know. I can't. I did the account table. They were just running after me. I was like, ah, why are people running after me? So I was running. And suddenly I felt a huge stone bang just on my on my behind my head. I was like I was so hungry. And I looked back and I was like, what? And I just said, Lord of Jesus, and I told myself flying. I don't know where the parachute came from. When I got to the particular place I landed, then two women came from nowhere. I said, Come in. When I entered, I sat down. We don't need to sit down. There is like it was like two security guards watching over me. I was like, well, then I was, then one asked the other person to go out to check if the coast was clear. Then she went out, then she said, okay, fine, I can go home. And I was holding on to that thing. When I woke up, I was like, what of this dream? But I just had the voice that say, well, you've been victorious already. I said, amen. Then that week, I told God the very next day that if is the one for me. Let him give me a call. Because he never called me. <laughs> Let him give me a call. Then that very morning I just received a call from him. I knew 
I will use this one and say hi as it. You wanted to say hi? <laughs> then it was it was like, yeah, I said, yeah, you he said it's on the train back home. I was like, train? You can't you could not even wait to get to. I said, yeah, that if you get soon, I won't be able to go. He'll be so tired to go. I said, wow. And I told God, I said, wow, wonderful. Then, but he is the kind of person that it takes his time before he does anything, you know. And me, I was like, ah, please now, just do this thing fast. Oh, no, sharp, sharp. <laughs> sharp, sharp now. Let's just do that. And forget about it. But he was still confused. Mm -hmm. His parents were like, no, she has to get married to the person that they stayed that they don't want him to come back home. Like, it doesn't make sense in you know, Nigerians now when you travel to a place, it's like the United States and you come back and you're like, ah, she already what? Sorry. Like, <laughs> like uh, is it that they're after you or village people, you know, village people things now. So <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was, I, I never knew anything. I, I never knew that was happening with him. So, I just told God the following week. I said, it was the Monday. I said, Father, by the end of this week, mm. he must make his decision. Yeah. He must be able to stand and say, yes, it is you and you. Mm. So, I I was almost giving up. I was almost giving up. You know, I I wanted to, um, it was on a Saturday, I said, oh, if it doesn't start off, that's all. And on Sunday, he just reached my friend, which he has never done before. He said, I, and I already shared with my friend because I already confirmed. Mm -hmm. So he said, I, how is everyone at home? Is everybody at home? He just rushed down to the room and said, Ha, ah, Ruth, this, <laughs> yeah, this is your brother. He's not asking for any other thing, he's asking for you. He's asking after you. So, it's not it's not possible with those people at home. It's just it's, it's asking us. I said, why can't you not come pop um just um I know my WhatsApp. He said uh you don't know him. That it too is asking after there was there, there and then I knew that this God yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to do that. He wanted to go to another source and just to say just to make sure that I had I had you when you asked me that he has to reach me. Before that uh, weekend, and he has to make his decision. Then suddenly, he just came up to me and started chatting. From there, we entered into Kochi. From there, we did our marriage. It was it didn't even take up to it? Was we started courting June, and we did our wedding February. Wow, yeah, February eighth. And wow. we are still happily married and to be happily ever. After. after amen yeah. wow we've come full circle like from you know from a place of pain and now so much joy um it just shows that you know god is able to pick back your any broken pieces and really mend it and make your life so much beautiful as long as we trust in him i'm just wondering like do you have like any final thoughts that you want to share any advice any counsel that you want to give to people who are watching um who knows probably people who have gone through similar situation they do not know how to come out they've experienced a broken heart what it means to to have a broken heart whether the person is dead or alive and they're just wondering can god would i ever be happy again um do you have any words of encouragement to to give to people and we'll just pray afterwards if you're going through any outbreak or you, you're bereaved kind of i can relate with you all you just need is god mm. in this part it's just god you need god it's whatever whatever um whatever situation you're going to you just need god and once you already know god you have no problem that's half, half battle won already, <laughs> if not one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. I really learned a lot of things um, in, you know, from your story. There's so much that God can do with your pain. You just need to let yes. him. And God yes. has, like, there are different stages he wants to take you, and you cannot rush the process. 
So it's yeah. very important that that phase that you're in, whatever phase you're in, your your job is to find out what is it that God wants me to learn in this in this stage, and what is that because you know it, it's like when you're moving from primary school to secondary school, there's a particular degree or certificate you're coming out with, common entrance, whatever. If you pass that, then you're going into. So there's an outcome God is expecting you to come out with a a product at the end of a phase that will help you in the next that you're going to so don't rush that process try to know what it is that god wants you to learn you know the gifts that he wants you to to you know to refine and bring out of you um for each phase of your life and more than anything he has given us the comforter that's why that name is there god knows that we're going to go through things that requires comforting in this life and so he gave us the holy spirit so we can, you know, be comforted through whatever it is that we're going to. Now, yeah. you're happily married yeah. to Brother Dio. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. You're yes. blessed with beautiful children. So I'm I'm very happy um, for you. And I'm so grateful, so, so grateful to God for your testimony and for, you know, sh- being willing to share with us on, on the channel. God bless you so very Amen. much. So before you go, our prophetess, pray for us. <laughs> Father, we thank you for this moment. Amen. We thank you for the grace to be able to bless people out there. We thank you for giving us the opportunity yes. to be able to speak to people out there through the story. Be thou exalted, Lord. Lord, Amen. we pray for those out there that are bereaved. For our hearts broken, Lord, we pray you send a comforter to them, to confront them, Lord, and the grace to wait in the healing process, to be able to be healed, the willingness to be able to be healed, Lord, I pray you give unto them, Lord. And Lord, I pray you exchange their hashes for your beauty in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for the answer. Prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sister Ruth. God bless you. God bless you. And the Lord keep beautifying your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you so much for having me on your YouTube. It's a great privilege. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So what's the best way for people to like, get in touch with you? I know you have a very vibrant um, Facebook page. Uh, if anybody wants to connect with you, what's the best way? Yeah. Just search for Overlap Roots. Um, now I can't. Okay. On, the, on my um, profile, it's, I'm wearing a blue fascinator. Yeah, that's, that's all I can remember. On Facebook? Overlap Roots. Yeah. Okay. Yes, on Facebook. Great. Yes. Great. Everybody yes. try and connect with her. She has a very vibrant page. She will be blessed mightily in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. I hope you were blessed. Please like, comment, let's do and share with your friends. Until next time. Bye-bye.